Hello Budgie Nation, in this video I'm going to show you how to make money thanks to budgies. But we are not going to sell budgies, we are going to make some accessories and toys for budgies. So I just got this machine, it's a laser graving machine. And I don't know how to open this. Oh. Wood engraving is booming. Thanks to affordable CNC laser machines, anyone can now get in on the action. These machines take wood cutting to a whole new level, making it easier and more accessible than ever. As any machine, this longer laser engraver Ray 520 watt machine have a guide how to assemble this. And I suppose this is not so hard. The assembly instructions are surprisingly simple and straightforward. And behold, a laser. This model features a user-friendly touch screen, making engraving and cutting a breeze with simple touch controls and SD card operation. Online reviewers consistently praise longer laser machines, highlighting their quality, ease of use and ability to deliver professional looking results. And I can't wait to test that. Assembling this may seem complicated. And yes, I was initially scared, wondering if it would work afterward because I am quite clumsy. But hey, if I manage to get it right, I'm sure you can too. Let's discuss safety. Laser engraving machines pose serious risks, producing toxic fumes and highly toxic substances. Incorrect engraving settings can lead to fires, and looking at the laser without proper protection is dangerous for the eyes. Despite built-in safety features like the Ray 5's flame sensor, it's crucial not to rely solely on technology, never leave the laser working unattended for your safety. Can you imagine assembling this in just 20 minutes? Challenge accepted. Deep breath, I can do it! But first on step one is to install profiles. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Place four corner grooves into the profiles. Then tighten the M5 screw into the frames. And repeat for the other three corners. Then tighten 4 M5 screws on the corner grooves. And now we move on to step 2, X-axis frame assembly. Everything is nicely labeled, just go step by step. First install the limit nylon isolated screw. Then attach the touch screen to the frame and tighten the remaining screws for the supporting foot. This step may seem tricky, but it's not. Install the timing belt. Gently guide it through the hole, under the wheel, over the motor and again under the wheel bringing it back through the hole at the end. Sounds easy, right? But it is. To tighten the belt, let the reference be on the X-axis belt. Not too tight, not too loose. And yes, you need to bring the x-axis back to the home position and repeat the same for the other side.
This tiny T-shaped screw will tighten the timing belt. One side is completed, now the other, but to mention, keep an eye that the belt is properly placed over the motor gears. And now the motor can move freely. This little thingy is a limit switch to prevent the x-axis from hitting the frame. And you need to turn the engraver over to attach the limit switch to the edge of the label and fasten it with a hex key or allen wrench. And the second switch is on the x-axis frame. And behold a laser! And it is super simple to attach with two handle screws. Almost there. Connect all cables to limit switches, motors and lastly, the laser. You can secure the cables to the sheet metal with cable ties. Completed? Not yet. One last thing before you can start shooting lasers. Honeycomb panels are used as a bed surface in laser cutting to minimize back reflections. The honeycomb design allows for effective fume extraction and aids in heat dissipation. And that's it. Not so scary after all. Completed in less than 30 minutes. Wow, looking beautiful. And I have these materials. But I think I need more. This engraver supports a wide range of materials that can be cut or engraved and the 20 watt laser is not weak at all. And you can find it in most hardware stores. Before engraving, you need to level the laser with the material. Don't forget, I did twice. On the USB stick, you get three samples, a cat, a logo and a flower. Before engraving, you should frame to determine which part of the material will be engraved. Well, that was fast. Well, let me see it. And this is nice. This is beautiful. I can't wait to make my own logo. So, right now. Easy cowboy. Let's take a look at another example. A flower. And this turned out uh, quite amazing high details as far as I know this is truly amazing and now I need a software light burn to prepare my logo and my budgie accessories be aware this is my first attempt to engrave my logo using default settings which is my first mistake So this is the default settings and now I'm going to make it even better. Even my logo have a lot of tiny details. This is quite impressive, but I think this can be much better on larger scale. 
And this is the right size for high details of my logo. All I need to do is frame it and put it on the wall. So I got an idea to use Midjourney AI to make images of budgies to engrave on wood. With a simple Imagine input to AI, I can ask it to generate a stunning silhouette of a budgie using abstract lines suitable for laser printing. And that was nice, you can use Photoshop to clear the image and prepare for engrave. I found the best Gemini AI image generator for my budgie needs and it's working perfectly. All you need to do is prepare it in Lightburn for engraving. This is perfect! You can also test every material to find out the best settings for cutting and engraving with your laser. And this is for the plastic. But be aware, test every material before cutting or engraving. Wrong settings can quickly lead to a fire. But luckily there is a sensor and an emergency stop button. It's enough of testing, now let's make some things we can sell. When preparing an image, I need to remove the white color, trace the edges and export it to a PNG file. Isn't this amazing? This looks absolutely perfect. And I think we can sell this. And after getting a proper boot for laser, you can get even better results. And you can get these tiny magnets, hot glue gun, and you can make your own souvenirs. And if you like this laser, you can get it in the link in the description. And now the question is, can we sell it? I'm going to pet store. There is a wide range of things you can make. Think about pet-themed magnet souvenirs. They loved it and want more, for other pets too. And there you have it, I got money and agreement to make more so they can sell in the pet store. So, see you in the next video. Thank you. You are awesome. Thank you for watching and subscribing. See you in my next video.